Mark chapter 6. On the Sabbath he began to teach in the synagogue, and many who heard him were astounded. They said, Where did this man get all this? What is this wisdom that has been given to him? What deeds of power are being done by his hands? Is not this the carpenter, the son of Mary, and brother of James and Joseph and Judas and Simon, and honest his sisters here with us? And they took offence at him. And then Jesus said to them, Prophets are not without honour, except in their hometown, and among their own kin, and in their own house. The locals around Jesus basically asked, Who do you think you are? They knew Jesus, his family, they had knowledge of him, and so they rejected him. Knowledge begats ignorance. The Lenin lyric in All You Need Is Love, Nothing You Could Do That Can't Be Done, that is, you are not special. And that, in essence, is what they are saying. Except, though, we are made in the image of God. We have the Holy Spirit indwelling in each and every one of us. Christ died for everybody. We are called not to judge. Jesus makes that command quite explicitly. The sin of the Spirit is the judgment of someone else. Humanity judges what it knows and through lack of faith fails to see the divine. You see, the opposite of knowledge is not ignorance, but is faith. And faith is about that which we don't know, what you can't see. Hope is that gift to keep going when all around you is crumbling. Love, that most intimate of gifts, is unfathomable, undefinable. It was that God is love that Jesus demonstrated as a clear sign to the world. Treating everybody as the same, listening to the outcast, healing the foreigner, describing himself as menial, being influenced by a woman, which is a major cultural change for the day. Cheating children as inheritors of God's kingdom. Love, the fulfilling of the law and the prophets. Without love, we are meaningless. Without love, our actions are worth nothing. Love does not mean familiarity, which we know breeds contempt. Love sees the freshness, the newness of a relationship every day. So the love is just as alive after 50 years as it was after 50 days. We are called to see the world through a child's eyes, to see the wonderment of a blooming world, an exciting world, of a new day, each and every day. So for the people who said to Jesus, who do you think you are? You are one of us, a son of a carpenter. They were right based on their knowledge. But those who did not know Jesus as neighbour, brother, but believed in him, had faith in him, they followed him to bring healing and love to a world full of pain and hate. So, do you want to stay where you are, sure with your knowledge, or do you want to reach out in faith to grasp that which we cannot prove? We can only believe. <laughs>